talk about the candles. So the candles we use here at St. Thomas are not traditional candles. They're actually uh, oil-filled candles. Um, so each Sunday, or before each Sunday, they need to be refilled. So uh, that includes the candelabras that sit in the windows, and then the two candlesticks that usually are on the altar. They're back there because we're not ready to set up for Sunday yet. And it also includes the Paschal candle when it is Easter tide. Got it. So, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is carry them into the sacristy. And I'll do that and then we'll be in the sacristy. So we've carried all of the, the candles into the sacristy. In this cabinet, the same cabinet where you get the key to unlock the other cabinet, are bottles of oil for the candles. Um, and they have a flip top lid like this. So what you will do is this brass top unscrews. Be really careful because it's heavy and it can fall out of your hands and then fall out and then the wick is throwing oil everywhere and it gets a little messy. So, best thing to do, if you're not tall enough to see in, um, you can always sit it on a stool or even on the ground and bend over and do it. Or you can sit it down in the sink if that gives you a little bit more room to see in. It actually gives me a little bit more room. So, you just fill it up without removing the wick, if possible. Try to stop before it overflows, because it it's oily and messy. And then screw it back down on, but don't screw it tight. It doesn't need to be tight. Um, and I have made the mistake of accidentally tightening it too much and then other people not being able to get it off. So, really loosely. Uh, and then I just grab a paper towel and kind of wipe up any oil that I spilled. It does get a little messy, so just be as careful as possible when you're filling. And if oil gets on the counter, make sure that you wipe it up because it is pretty flammable stuff. One other thing that uses the same oil is the uh, taper. So this used to have a wax, big wax wick that you would kind of move up and down. We bought this adapter that uses the same oil that the candles use. So it's a good idea to check this pretty much weekly. The top unscrews just like the candles and you fill it. It's a very small reservoir though, so be, be really aware of how much oil is going in there, otherwise it's gonna overflow. Just a quick note about the Paschal candle. So the Paschal candle, the big candlestick stick that sits up here in the front, it's got some decorations on it that I can talk about at some other point. This candle remains at the front of the worship space for all of the season of Easter, the 50 days of Easter. It is also, however, moved up front for any kind of funeral liturgy or uh, for baptism, although at baptism it would probably be lit and backed by the baptismal font. Um, it fills the exact same way that all the other candles do, except it's got a larger reservoir. It still needs to be checked every week. The best way to do that is, this is made to be processed. Grab it here and here and lift straight off. And then you can carry it in the sacristy kind of set it down on the ground so that you can actually see inside of it. Okay, that's it. The last candle that you need to think about is the presence candle, the one that hangs in the red um, uh, globe above the altar space. In this cabinet here <coughs> will be a large supply of a seven-day presence candle in a plastic container. So we take this out to the worship space. There's the current one. They last probably eight or nine days, but we change them weekly just because that's the easiest thing to do. Here, you will see 
a wire coming down with a big lead weight fish on it. If I let that go up, you'll see this candle comes down. Oh, watch that I don't bust the ball up there. You're going to grab this one out. There are matches on the windowsill. Place the new one in. one week, so it needs to be changed every, every week.